Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys in action against the Montpelier Solons. Division three champs against the Division two champs. Montpelier is actually one of the last two years in a row. Should be a fantastic game tonight here from the Den. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Opening tip we just had, Hazen with control. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCCLNSD.org. Jumpstart your future. Looking for my pen. Brendan Moody takes a shot, doesn't go. Rebound. Shot up, made. Carson Cody, his first basket of the night. Still trying to catch my breath here. Okay. Hazen with the inbounds underneath their own hoop. Turn around. Rivard off the glass. Doesn't get to go. Some great height underneath for the Solons. Rivard still can't get it to go. Getting it back up again one more time. Three times. Not the charm. But one more time. Tyler going to try a fourth and gets it. Tyler Rivard. The senior, not to score two with 6.55 left. Quick team. Rivard rebounds. Puts up a short shot. Jaden Baker. I'm not going to be able to look down on this game, I can tell. Hazen with a record of 12 and 2, Montpelier with 11 and 3. Roby Williams loses the handle. Moody pass over. X man looking to pass it inside, gets it back out to Moody. Over to X. Rivard had was looking for Moody on a cut. Montpelier player cut cut him off. Referee Mike Orton directs the ball to the end line. Baseline. X on the rethrow, on the throw in. Moody. Baker. The butcher, the baker. Big crowd here tonight. We got a pink out going on. It pass back. X man to Rivard. I sent Travis a clip of Larry Bird highlights last night, and I think him and X must have watched him. Clayton Foster throws up a three-pointer. Not good. Roby Williams comes down with it. Ryby Williams, sorry. Ryby. Spin. Foul called on Baker. And that is going to send Carter Bruzzese to the line, shooting two. With 5.32 left to go in the first, Cats up 6-2. Locks down his first one. Talking to Coach Hill before the game, he says, Montpelier is super quick. They got a lot of height. They like to shoot some threes. They play up-tempo. A lot of pressure on defense. Should be a good matchup tonight. Sings the second one. Carter has been in the gym at 6 a.m. every morning. Practicing his free throws. <clears throat> Back out, X. Moody wide open for the three. Brendan Moody, the sophomore, gives the Cats a five-point lead. Fights his way inside, gets the pass. Ryby Williams off on that one. Rebound, Rebard. Stolen away. Foster stole that one. Looking to drive. Pops a shot. That's good for Carson Cody. Gives him four. Makes it a 9-6 game. Baker off on that one. Tries to get his own rebound. Foster comes up running. Drops a pass back. Doesn't go.
Referee Davis Stachetti with the foul called on Andrew Tringe, the senior. Actually, it's Stachetti. That's right. I think I got it wrong when I announced her name. A couple of subs coming in. We got uh, Gabe Mitchett coming in. For Hazen, we got uh, Adif Malik. And I didn't see the other player who went in. I believe it is Cleo Bridge, yes, for the Solons. Long three-pointer taken. Stecchetti calls it off the top of the backboard, out of bounds. Dana Mesha, our other official tonight. Good squad here tonight. Bold many years with Brother Ordy, as I like to call him. Down the Twin City Lanes. Pass back, Rebart to Gabe Mitchell. Cats putting on a passing clinic right here today. Drive. Scoops it over. Ryby Williams going to try a three. Doesn't go. Rebound, Rebard. X off the back of the rim. A rebound. Uh, gets taken down. It's batted around there. And the Solons will get possession of the ball. Carter Bruzzese in. And uh, Clayton Foster is going to come out. <laughs> well, period coached by another familiar face to me, Nick Foster. Worked with him when I was uh, working with Farrell Distributing. I've known his dad, Greg Foster, forever. He's, been, uh, he's worked for Pepsi in all various capacities. And uh, I've known Greg God for 40 years, probably. Nice guy. Ryby Williams, foul line, pass over. Going to pop a three. That one's off. <clears throat> Montpelier so far off on their three-point shots. Not afraid to take them, though. The only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. 239 left to go in the first. Cats up five, 11 to six. X will take a three. In and out. Rivard in for the rebound. Tyler rewriting the record books here for rebounds. Moody. Brendan Moody, two three-pointers for the sophomore, makes it an eight-point lead with 2.20 left to go in the first. Williams, quick, wow, quickness. He's not, that guy's not quick, he's sudden. Not going to leave Brendan open again one more time for another three out here. Yeah, frees himself up, takes one. That one's off the back of the rim. Rebound, Cleo Bridge. Bridge, pass over, Cody. Carson Cody back to Bridge. Bridge with Moody on him. Bridge. I think he walked. Oh, the block. Foul called on Xavier on the block. I thought he hopped an extra step, but I don't What do I know? That's why Mike Orton's down there in a striped shirt, and I'm up here with a headset on. I'll let Mike make the calls. Pass in. 135 left to go on the clock. Ryby Williams drive. Ronnie Ryby Williams, a senior, heating up now inside. Moody hangs, puts up the shot, doesn't drop. Skying up there is Adif Malik. He's got long arms, this Malik. Long arms. 14-10. Three-pointer off. Rebound, Rivard. Sit over to X. Xavier Hill. Puts up the short left-hander. The X-Man, his first points of the night. 
16-10. 50 seconds left. Left him wide open for three. Doesn't drop, though. Gabe Mitchell trying to get in there. Playing against Ryby Williams. Carson Cody in and uh, Cleo Bridge out. And Coach Hill going to send the Prez back in. And Jaden's going to get a seat. Montpelier looking to cut, pass back. Ryby Williams. And Tyler draws a foul. Does he? I can't. They're not, they're giving him no, I can't see what, I couldn't see the call. I had people standing in front of me. Yeah, they called, they called Ryby Williams on the drive uh, for the charge. I couldn't quite see. I had a fan standing in front of me. I think it was Dana Mason with the call. 20 seconds left. Cats up six. Tyler inside. Tyler Rebard, six points for the senior here in the first quarter. Makes it an eight-point lead with eight seconds left. Long three-pointer does not drop for Carter Bruzzese. And at the end of one, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the Montpelier Solons by a score of 18 to 10 in a heavyweight matchup if there ever was one. Once again, Montpelier comes in as defending two-time Division II champions. Cats come in as the one-time defending Division III champions for tonight. So uh, good games. Cats with 12 and 2 record. Uh, Montpelier with 11 to 3. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera, sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Lots of basketball coming up uh, tomorrow. Um, I won't be here, but I believe Tim Whitney is going to have the call for the girls' game against uh, Blue Mountain. Is that tomorrow? Uh, yes. And then uh, Monday night, another big matchup. Your boys will be hosting Thetford. Tip off for that. Uh, JV's at 5.30, Varsity's at 7. Tuesday the 14th, Valentine's Day, will be the girls versus Milton, their senior night. And then on Wednesday the 15th, the boys will be against Lamoille. The boys will host their senior night uh, on Thursday, February 23rd, against Randolph. On the inbounds. Solence. Ruzazi drops it over. Clayton Foster gets it over. Ryby Williams pass back out. See if Coach Nick Foster's made some adjustments there in between periods. Wow. Andrew Tringe making his presence known. Stood next to him in the hallway. I, I felt very short. Okay, referee Mike Orton with the call. The ball went into Dana Mesha. Lost his glasses. Mike with a very good explanation. Had the ball going out of bounds off White. Going to give the Solons the ball. Can't say enough about Brother Orty. A veteran official if there ever was one. <clears throat> Travel called. On Carter Bruzzese. X Man. Ball in. Second quarter just underway. Turnover. Coach Hill not happy with that one. He's going to send Jaden Baker in. The next opportunity. Carter Bruzzese. Hands it off. Turn back over. Gabe Mitchell. Gabe, the big blue ox. Down underneath. Puts it up. Gabe Mitchell, four points. 6.55 left to go in the first half. Cats up 20 to 12. Hey. 
Drive inside, shot, short shot, doesn't go. Rebound. And Trim's getting a little handy with Tyler in there. Didn't like uh, Tyler's demeanor, I guess, when he came down. Montpelier looking to get the ball in, knocked out. Gabe Mitchell. I'll tell you, this place is packed tonight. Friday night basketball action from the Den. Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. A couple of champions going at it here. That shot doesn't go. Rebound, Solens back up. Still doesn't drop. Boy, ball went everywhere but down. And they're going to call, I believe that's Carson Cody on the block. As Tyler was bringing the ball up through. So a 6.24 left to go in the first half. Cats an eight-point lead. The Prez, Lincoln Mitchell on the inbounds. Gets it back to Tyler. Inside, Moody. High up off the glass, couldn't get it to drop. Lincoln back down with it. Tyler trends right on him. Tyler, nice pass inside to Gabe. Gabe couldn't quite get a handle on it. Leaves Moody open for the three. Doesn't drop. And they're going to call the Prez on a foul. Or for knocking it out of bounds, I guess. Or are they going to call him? Yeah, they're going to call the Prez. His first foul. X is coming in. Prez will get a seat. Solon's on the inbounds. I think it's going to be Carter Bruzzese coming up. Bruzzese trying to get it somewhere. Loses his hit, loses the dribble, gets it back. And Brother Ordy with the emphatic call on Hayden Lilly. Kind of cleared him with a forearm shiver underneath there, and he can't really do that. X. 5.30 left to go in the half. Cats up eight. Here's Baker. He was looking inside for Tyler. Almost took referee Dana Mesh's head off with that pass as it went through everybody. Ruzzese once again. Turnaround, shots. Doesn't go for Hayden Lilly. Rebound, Hazen. Tyler taking a rare three. Rebound by Lilly. Montpelier pushing. Shot taken. Carson Cody, six points for the sophomore. Cuts the lead to six with 4.55 left to go in the first half. Baker off the glass. The butcher, the baker, the two-point maker. Puts the lead back up to eight. Shot from the corner. Lilly off. Rebound Tyler, Tyler Rivard. I'm going to have to get an update on Tyler's rebound situation. I know he's got like a ton. I know he's set records. X-Man off. Trench goes down. Moody wide open for the three. In and out. That one off. Pass back. X. Tries to spin in the reserve. Draws, draws the foul. X will go to the line, shooting two. I mean, granted, I've missed a few games this year with the boys, but, man, this is a, the best I've seen them play. They came out. They're ready to play tonight. X. First miss from the foul line.
Carson Cody, Cleo Bridge in from Montpelier. X puts up a shot short. Rebound, Ryby Williams. We've also got Adif Malik back in. Or Milak. I think it's Milak. Shots. Man, Montpelier's three pointers are going everywhere but through the net. X, long three, short. Montpelier with control of the ball with 3.42 left to go in the first half. Cats up 22-14. Three-pointer there, drops for Cleo Bridge. Makes it a five-point lead. And they're gonna call Jaden. Referee brother already calls Jaden for the forearm shiver. Coach Hill wants a timeout to talk things over. 325 left to go in the first half. Cats up 22-17. Good basketball game here from the Den tonight. Friday night is what it's all about. Pack gym, student section up. We gotta get them woke up a little bit. I believe the Cats have a couple of road games as well. Sandwiched in or between our senior night. Yeah, we go on the road Friday the 17th at Lake Region, Monday the 20th at Williamstown. Before closing things out, Thursday the 23rd here at the Den. That'll be the Hazen Boys Senior Night. Celebrate our seniors, Jaden Baker, Tyler Revard, and the Prez, Lincoln Mitchell. Long three, rattles home for Carson Cody. Nine points, and just like that, the lead is now two. I was a little worried about that. They were pretty close. Now Montpelier putting that pressure defense on. Malak up there creating some havoc. He's in on the turnover. 302 left to go in the first half. Get your popcorn out, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a good one. Foster, pass over, Ryby Williams, pass back, Bridge, Bridge, spin, comes back out, and just hands off, Cody, back over to Bridge, inside, shot up off the glass, short shot by Clayton Foster, his point, first points of the night for the sophomore, we got a tie ball game, knotted at 22, Revard inside, shot goes, and a foul, Tyler Revard. Does what he does best. Foul called on Clayton Foster, his first. So we get the hoop, gives us a two point lead, chance to extend it to three if Tyler can convert the three point play the old fashioned way. And he does. Nine points. Solens back on the attack. Ryby Williams drop back out. Turn around. Three-pointer. Doesn't drop for Cody. Tyler comes up. Dishes off. Moody inside. Prez wide open underneath. Blocked. Gets it back. Puts it up again. Still can't go. Tyler fighting underneath. Drops the pass in for Mitchett. And we got all kinds of action going on in there. And in the end, we're going to have a foul called on the Solens. And uh, Hazen will inbounds the ball. Underneath their own basket. Foul called on Malak. And that is puts us into the bonus. So we'll be shooting one and ones. Prez will go to the line. Chance to build that lead back up. Makes the first one. First points of the night for the Prez. Second one, nothing but net. Lead back up to five now. Two minutes left to go in the first half. 
But we have seen leads erased quickly in this game. So Back out, Ryby Williams. Doesn't drop, Tyler with the ball, X comes up. Moody, spin, off the hoop, Brendan Moody. Eight points for the sophomore, seven point lead for the Cats. 1.30 left to go in the first half. Long shot, three. Cleo Bridge, is second three of the night. Cuts the lead to four. Prez inside, blocked out. And we're gonna play her down. Clayton Foster, I think, caught a hand or an elbow or something in the in the eye, it looked like, as they were battling underneath there. He's back up, he's good. Inbounds. Here's Bruzzese with 115 left to go in the half. Cats up four. Ryby Williams underneath. Doesn't drop up right there for the putback is Malak. Lead is two. Less than one minute to play in the half. Mitchell loses a dribble. Ryby Williams comes up. X back there with him. Tyler got up there high on that block and a hand on the backboard. What's the call going to be? In the end, Gabe's going to be called for the foul. Dana Mesha doing a little floor maintenance out there. Referees conferencing, talking things over. See what is. Okay, you heard it right there from Brother Ordy. Block off the backboard as long as it was ascending. Coach Nick Foster accepts the call. Solon's on the inbounds. 45 seconds left there. Underneath, Williams can't get it to drop. Ryan the Little Lion in there now. Seeing a little action. 35 seconds. Montpelier playing really stout defense right now. Cats just looking to create an opening. Tyler throws that one. He wasn't. He knew it. He knew it. Coach Hill, what are you thinking? He know. He knows. He knows. Not. Uh, not what we were looking for, down there on that one. 20 seconds left. Two point lead for the Cats. Let's see what Montpelier does. The obvious play for the final shot here. Eight seconds. Drive, pass back out. Five seconds. Blocked. Everybody wants a foul. And in the end, nothing happens. Everybody wanted a foul on that last shot that Malak was trying to take. In the end, we have the first half ending with the Cats up by a score of 29-27. Coach Foster isn't happy with that. Um, let's see. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera. Going to take a little break. We'll be back at the start of the second half. We are less than one minute away now from second half action here at the Den. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys hosting the Montpelier Solons tonight. You're watching basketball on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. 
Lance Hall with the call. Danny on camera, defending two-time, de defending two champion Montpelier Solons. Travel up Route 14 to take on our defending Division Three champion, Hazen Union Wildcats, and we have had a fantastic game here tonight. Hazen clinging to a two-point lead, but I'll tell you, we have seen some action tonight. Great, great basketball. Hazen on the inbounds. Baker gets it over to X. As I said earlier, I definitely get your popcorn out and get ready for this second half. Moody off on that three. Doesn't go revired with the rebound. Back up. Tyler shot and the foul. Tyler with nine points in the first half. Puts him at 11 now as he gets the turnaround. Foul called on Ryby Williams. Ronnie Wy Ryby Williams had four in the first half. Tyler makes it 12 points on the night. Brendan Moody with eight. Jaden Baker with four. Xavier Hill with two. Cut inside, pass over. Ryby Williams, nowhere to go against the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell. Three-pointer taken, though. Clayton Foster gives him five points on the night. Moody drops it over. Mitchett back out. X. Moody over to X. Ryby Williams gets a hand on it. Uh, Xavier had two, uh, and Lincoln Mitchett had four. For Montpelier, it was Malak with two, Tringe with two, Carson Cody with nine, Cleo Bridge with six, Clayton Foster with two. Carter Bruzzese with two, and Ronnie Ryby Williams with four. Unofficial in the first half. This is so unofficial. I do my best. Hazen went up in pretty good shape in the first quarter. Montpelier came back in the second. At one point, it tied the game. I believe Hazen has led since the outset. Stolen by Trinch. Got a long reach on Trinch. Baker tried to dip underneath. Foster with Moody on him. Ryby Williams drops, wants to get inside. Pass back, Ryby Williams. Ties it up. 32-32. Time for our student section to get things going. Kind of quiet over there. The Prez surveys. Xavier, Jaden Baker back out. Cats almost playing like a little bit of a stall ball here. Montpelier fans come alive in front of me. Blocked by Trench. Baker went in. We gotta get our students up here. There they go. 5-16 left to go in a third. There's a three-pointer made by Carter Bruzzese. Puts the Solons up three. Answer back no. We saw them miss a lot of threes. Close. Trench. Coach Hill wants a timeout as the Cats are now trailing by five quickly, quickly here in the third. 4.57 left to go. Solon's fan come alive right in front of me. Looks like Coach Nick Foster made a few adjustments at halftime. And uh, Coach Hill wants to talk things over now. 4.57 left to go. Once again, Cats come in with a record of 12 and two. Their losses this season have come against Thetford and Spalding. Both of road games, so undefeated streak on the line here tonight at the Den.
All right. After the full timeout. See what Coach Hill has set up here. In there quickly was Foster. Gets called on the foul. Referee Davis Stecati. Cats get to practice their press break here. So nothing Coach Hill was telling me before the game. Dana Mace is calling him on backcourt. I didn't see it. Coach Hill not happy. I, I, I'd like to see a replay because I didn't see it. I didn't see the call. Results in a turnover. 444 left to go in the third. I'll put you up five. Rebard couldn't quite, he had the line on it, couldn't get it. Cats. Gonna pull it together here a little bit. Tringe comes out. Malak goes in. Carson Cody corrals that one down. Ryby Williams gets it back. Foul called on Baker, his third. The Prez will come in and Jaden will go out. Got him with the body. Cleo Bridge on the inbounds for the Solons. It's the back, Clayton Foster. Ryby Williams. Pass off. Bridge. Ryby Williams looking to cut. Well, beautiful move. Travel. Brother Ordy calls Ryby Williams on the travel. Beautiful move to get in there to get that shot off. But, wow. No points scored here for a little bit now. Telegraph that one, stolen. Short, doesn't go, gets his own rebound. Clayton Foster. Solon's up seven. Lincoln, down low, passes back out to Gabe. Looking across, broken up by Ryby Williams. They're going to call. Uh, they're going to call Ryby Williams for a foul on that. Dana Masha does, makes it his third. I, I just call him. I don't wonder why. X man, short shot. Off the back of the rim, going in to get it is Gabe Mitchell. Revired up underneath. Foul called. Brother Ordy in quickly to celebrate, to separate, separate is what I'm trying to say. Aiden Lilly and Ty Tyler Revard. Lilly called on the foul. We've seen a couple uh, Montpelier players take exception with Tyler on the inside tonight. Tyler's tough. Big boy, he's not going to move. Sinks the first one. Breaks the scoring drought for the Cats. Cuts the lead to six with 320. Left to go in the third. Yeah. 
Tyler knocks down a second one. 14 points for the senior. Here's Malak, pass back, cuts underneath, taken away. Revard, I mean uh, X-Man, over to Moody. Brendan pass inside Tyler. Up underneath, Mitchett can't get it to go. Tyler up, goes up again, blocked. You got a foul. Malak called on the foul, I believe. Actually, the foul is on Cleo Bridge, his first. This is like, you know, Ollie Frazier out here tonight watching these teams play a couple of. He's swinging. Montpelier coach Nick Foster having a brief conference with referee Michael Orton. Tyler short on that one. Makes that one. 15 points for the senior. It's a four point lead for Montpelier right now with 2.45 left. Bridge with Moody on him. Drops it over Bruzzese. Takes a three, short. Rebound X. X hesitates, brings it back down. Moody is gonna take a three. In and out. Hazen with the luck of Montpelier now in the second half. Montpelier took a lot of threes and missed them just barely in the, in the first half. Now Hazen with the same thing, Moody. I think had that shot maybe partially blocked. Looked like the ball got deflected, I think. Hard to tell from this angle. Shot in and out, rebound. Back up with it, still doesn't go. And it'll be white ball as Malak and Tyler Rivard were battling underneath there, underneath the hoop. So yeah, I mean, in the first half, Montpelier took a lot of threes that kind of rimmed in and out and stuff. Now we're seeing a lot of that with Hazen. Left-hander doesn't go short. Rebound, Rivard. X-Man pass over inside. Underneath the press. Lincoln Mitchin. Cuts the lead to two. Hazen chipping away here. Shot up. Nice shot. Nice move. Carson Cody, his first point of the second half. Puts that lead back up to four. X doesn't go. Rivard. Tyler Rebard with authority. You know, back in the 80s, there was a team from Houston that was known as Phi Slamma Jamma. We got Ty Slamma Jamma out here tonight. Ty Slamma Jamma on that one to cut the lead to two for these Solons. Malak can't get it to go. He's with a chance to tie it up. Tyler. Working inside. Foul called on Cleo Bridge. Hazen will inbounds underneath her own hoop. Moody. Three, short, rebound, Rivard. Back out. Moody, wide open for another three. That one short again. Moody in with the own rebound. Prez up. 
Oh, that would have been a dagger right there if he could have gotten that one to drop. Perez will go to the line, shooting two. 35.2 left to go here in the third. Things have picked up here in the last three minutes. Mitch it. And that's the first one. Cuts the lead to one. Lead still one. Foul called on Cleo Bridge by Davis Tachetti, his third. Tyler will go back to the line with 34.7 left with a chance to potentially, oh, we're shooting one and once. He's gonna say with potential, he's gonna tie it up, but we could take the lead here. Convert the front end of the one and one, now get the second half. Hazen coming back. One point, we're down seven. Roll short. I'm gonna call Gabe Mitchett on that one if Simon Trench were going at it. Hazen with plenty of fouls to give right now. Two more from Alpuri though, and we'll be in a double bonus. 33.6 left here in third. Score tied, 41. Inside, nowhere to go. A lot of white jerseys. Turn around. That's going to be short. Rebound to Lincoln. Set up to X. 17 seconds. We got time. See Moody trying to free himself open for a three. They get him coming across. Out on D, though. Cleo Bridge close quick. Moody throws up the three at the buzzer. Doesn't go. And at the end of three, it is a tie ball game, 41-41. Some furious action there in the third. Just a great, great quarter of basketball on both ends. Uh, Lance Hall here with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable. They're all streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. What a game, what a game. Once again, Montpelier comes in with a record of 11-3. Two-time, two-time defending Division II champions. Hazen comes in with a record of 12-2, defending Division III champions. And this is what it's all about right here when you get two heavyweight like this. Like I said, Ali Frazier out here right now just throwing haymakers at each other. It's unreal, man. Good, good basketball game. Ah. <sighs> Throwing my one bit of trivia that I got. It's in 1978. Van Halen 1 came out on this day. The first Van Halen album. Man, did that change rock and roll forever. Eddie Van Halen, a virtuoso on guitar, of course. Taken from us far too soon. Virtuoso performances out here on the court tonight, though, for the Solons and the Wildcats. we got eight minutes left. See who's going to come out on top. Montpelier with the ball. Three-pointer. Doesn't go. Rebound. X-Man. Baker inside. Rivard. No shot. We're going to have a foul. Foul called on Carson Cody, his third. So Coach Nick Foster now with some players, a lot of players with three and four fouls. I don't, I don't know if any of them have four, but a lot of, a lot with three. Revar to the line. Been dead eye tonight from the line. Nineteen points now for Ty Slamajama. Second one, good. Forget Phi Slamma Jamma. We got Ty Slamma Jamma right here. Short shot, short.
Dana Meisher with a quick whistle. Calls the foul on Tringe. Nick Foster's talking to Brother Ordy about it. Tyler to the line once again. Good again. I think I got Tyler with eight points from the line tonight unofficially. I don't think he's missed many. And that's both of those making nine points from the line and 22 points. And a four point lead, catch back up four now with 7.20 left to go in the ball game. I was Trinch's second foul, so he's still in decent shape for this last quarter. Ryby Williams gonna take a three, not gonna go, rebound, Revard. Baker, they had Lincoln wide open underneath, but he couldn't thread the pass through. Lincoln was calling for it, he was wide open underneath the hoop. Three-pointer taken, Carter Buzese, his second three-pointer of the half, cuts the lead to one. Gabe blocked down by Trinch. Andrew Trinch, a senior, says get that out of here. X on the inbounds from underneath the Hazen basket. Pass in, Rebard can get it to drop, Trinch rebound. And we're gonna call Jaden Baker. And that is Jaden's fourth. With 6.38 left to go in the game, the Cats up one. Moody will come in and Baker will come out. And it's gonna be Carter Bruzzese on the inbound for Montpelier. Blocked out by Mitchell. Montpelier set it up and try again. Gabe the Big Blue Ox. Bruzzese, we're gonna go in. Trench waiting right there. Tyler gonna get called on that one, his second. Gonna send Trench to the line. 6.35 left to go in your ball game. Cats up one. Off the back of the iron. Trench nets the second one. Five points on the night for the senior, and it's a tie ball game with 6.30 left. All knotted up at 45. Prez over to Moody. Moody. Bruzzese on him. Prez. Tips it inside. X blocked out by Trench. Trench had that one scouted all the way. And up ahead, Carson Cody. Four points in the second half. 13 overall for Cody with six minutes left. Puts Montpelier up two. Blocked out by Foster. And Coach Hill is gonna take a timeout. Coach Hill is gonna take the uh, short timeout. The little breather with 5.54 left to go in the game. My cat's trailing by two. It's been seesaw action through this second half. Here from the den. Fantastic basketball game. <laughs> Student section up. Let's here, make some noise here a little bit. Get this place rocking. See what Coach Hill's got drawn up here. Once again, 5.54 left to go in the game. Cats trailing two. 
Lincoln mentioned on the inbounds. Cross court to Gabe. Here's Moody. X with Tringe on him. Back out to Moody. Over to X. X. Giving him a three. He gave him the three. Xavier Hill with a three-pointer. Puts the Cats up one. I couldn't really tell where his feet were from where I'm sitting. Uh, we're going to have a foul called as Bruzzese was going up. Foul called on X, his second. And that will send uh, Carter Bruzzese, the sophomore, to the line. Off the back of the iron. Coach Nick Foster starting three sophomores tonight. Young team. Three sophomores, two seniors. He's stocked for the next few years. He's got another couple sophomores on there. <laughs> and he's slouch either. I mean, Ryby Williams and uh, Tringe will be big losses, but wow. And gets the second one to go. Steal. Shot doesn't go. Revard with the rebound. Tied up. 48-48. 5.15 left. Right. I don't, I don't understand. Well, Perry called wanted a, wanted a foul. Macia's standing right there, but I don't know. That'll be a three if it goes. It doesn't. Rebound fighting underneath is Ryby Williams and Tyler Revard. It's Bruzzese. Cross, three-pointer, way off by Foster. That brings the jeers up from the Hazen crowd. Tringe and Cody come off. I think we got Cleo Bridge. I didn't see the other sub that went in. Was it Mil Malak? Xavier with a three, that one doesn't drop. Ryby Williams inside. Lincoln didn't really have his feet planted. He wasn't gonna get that call. Wow, what a move to get in there. Bruzzese. Acrobatic move just to get that shot off. Tyler at the foul line. Three Three green jerseys all around him. Working it inside. Prez wanted to get it back to Tyler. Prez on the floor. I believe maybe they call the jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Cats. 3.57 left, score tied, 48 apiece. Inside, turnaround, Revard, Tyler Revard. 24 points. And one tie, Slamma Jamma. Inside, nice cut. Gonna get the shot and a foul. Clayton Foster. Ties it up, he'll have a chance to put the Solons ahead if he can make it complete the uh, three-pointer. Foul called on Brendan Moody, his second. Referee Brother Ordy at the scorer's table. Not quite sure what's going on, what, what it was all about. Travis Hill going over to <laughs> We'll figure it out. Here comes Baker. 
In the end, it's a tie ball game. Turnover. Oh, they're putting five back on the clock. Okay, they were putting five seconds back on the clock. Bonus basketball. Nice move to keep his feet and his dribble right there by Foster. Ryby Williams. Puts it over. Shots. In and out. Rebound, Rivard. Three minutes left. Score tied. 50 apiece. Your Hazen Union Wildcats with the ball. Baker. X Man. Back out to Baker. Both crowds coming alive, getting loud in here. Mitchard back over X inside. Mitchard wants to turn around. They call him on a travel. Stachetti calls him on a travel. Davis Stachetti. Calls Lincoln Mitchell on a travel on that one with 2.33 left to go in a tie ball game. Montpelier with the ball. We start to drop back and play D. Create a turnover. Let's make something happen. Ryby Williams skies up for that one. Gets it back. Malak. Steal. Baker in there. Ball down. Tied up. What do we have? They're going to give Nick Foster the timeout on that play. Possession arrow, I believe if they were going to call it a jump, possession arrow would have given the ball to Montpelier anyway. But uh, Nick Foster, they're going to give him the timeout, a full timeout with 2.17 left to go here. Score tied 50 points apiece here at the Den. Excitement, excitement, excitement tonight. And excitement a lot of nights. Coming up uh, tomorrow, the girls will be hosting Blue Mountain. Then on Monday the 13th, the boys another huge matchup. Uh, see if they can avenge one of their two losses this season. They lost down at Thetford. The Panthers will be coming up here on Monday the 13th. The girls close out their regular season on Tuesday the 14th against Milton, senior night. And then on Wednesday the 15th, the boys will be hosting Lamoille, who they beat uh, way back, way back in the uh, Dave Morse tournament by a score of uh, 64 to 29, I believe, was that one. So, uh, but that Thetford game is gonna be, gonna be huge, and this is a huge one as well. It's a big game. A true test before playoff starts. Shots. Dagger. Dagger by Clayton Foster. Puts the Solens up three with two minutes left. See if the Cats can answer back. We've seen X take and not make a few threes. Moody's been a little bit off. Moody's not even out there right now. So I've got to believe if anybody's going to shoot a three, it'll be either X or uh, Baker. It looks like we're going to work it inside, go for the two maybe, and chip away, which I'm a fan of. 150 left. This is where we see him free up Tyler real quick inside here for these turnarounds. Gabe back. Gets it over Baker. X. X is going to take that three. It's going to be off. Tyler with the rebound. Turnaround. Loses it. Going to have a foul. Foul called on Ronnie Ryby Williams. That's his fourth with 1.42 left to go, and Montpelier up three points. Tyler has been torrid from the foul line tonight. 25 points now. I think he's got at least 10 of them at the foul line unofficially, completely unofficially. Short rebound, Ryby Williams gets it up. Here's Foster. Ryby Williams back. 1.30 left. Cats down two. Bruzzese hands it off. Foster. Ryby Williams. Solins playing keep away. Cats going to have to create a turnover here. Drive. Tyler wanted to travel. Coach Hill wanted to travel. 
Instead, they call Jaden on the block, and that's going to foul out Jaden Baker with 1.16 left to go. And it's going to send Carter Bruzzese to the line. Solon's up two. And he'll be shooting two. Bruzzese at the line. Chance to pad the lead. Big. Big time free throw right there. Makes it a three point game. Chance to make it a two possession game with 116 left. If he can make this one. And he does. Huge, huge free throws. Coach Nick Foster wants to take a timeout. Talk things over with 116 left to go as Carter Bruzzese just nailed down two huge clutch free throws to increase their lead to four. 116 left to go in the game. Cats will have the ball. Anything can happen right now. But while we have this timeout, and who knows what's going to happen on finish, I will read off our sponsors one more time. We thank them. You're watching Hazen Union Wildcat Basketball on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, we thank them very much as we do every week. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Check them out. My daughter goes down there. She loves it. Danny on camera. What a game here from the Den. Cats undefeated so far this season here at the Den. Their only two losses have come on the road at Spalding and at Thetford. In danger of having that streak ended here tonight against the two-time defending, defending Division II champion Montpelier Solens. Solens. One minute left to go in your ball game. Cats down four. Working it inside. Tyler, drop pass in. Minch it up. Lincoln, the Prez. Closes it with win two. 45 seconds left. Cats playing D. Bruzzese with the ball. Goes up, hit, back out. Three, not taking a go. Rebound, Trench. 30 seconds left. Here's Bruzzese driving inside, loses his dribble. Foul called on the press. It's going to send Bruzzese to the line, who knocked down a couple of clutch ones on the previous possession. Katz have, has closed it to within two. This will be a one and one. Completes the front end of the one and one. Bruzzese, this is what happens when you show up at 6 a.m. every morning and you're shooting your free throws and you don't leave the gym until you make 100. Coach Hill going to take a timeout. This, this, truly, you know, this is what you live for when you're practicing those free throws. Moments like this, games like this. So all you youngsters out there, the, you, are, you are between what Tyler's done and Brzezzi's done at the free throw line. This is what you, this is what you aspire to be when you practice your free throws. Moments like this. Twenty-four point three left to go in the game. Solon's up three. Bruzzese will be back at the line, finishing up the second half of the one and one. Completed the first half. He has been dead on from the free throw line these last few. <laughs> So 
So Bruzzese with a chance to push it back to a two possession game with 24.3 left in the game. If he can make this free throw. Clutch. Absolute clutch performance. He's a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Cat's going to have to hurry. 16 seconds underneath. Mitchell puts one up, doesn't go. Tringe comes down with it. Solon's starting to celebrate here, 12.4. They're up four. Tringe will go to the line. Trench. Five point lead, 12.4. What a game we have seen here tonight. Short on that one, Revard with the rebound, 10 seconds. Gonna have to throw one up. X-Man with two, Coach O wants a timeout. Cuts it to three, 6.1. X, throwing up a great shot there to bring it back to within three points. Cats staying in it. Some great action. We had the lead for quite a while. That tied up for quite a while. They took the lead. We tied them back up. They went back ahead. Both teams just leaving it all out on the court. Great performances on both ends. The coaches are coaching tonight. Six point one left. Solons will be inbounding. From the far end. It'll be Clayton Foster on the inbounds. Everybody stacks up right about at about half court. Trying to block out the pass. Gets it in. Ryby Williams she's going to hang on to it. Mitch is going to foul them. 4.7. Montpelier well, fans want a uh, flagrant. Ryby Williams goes to the line. 4.7, three-point lead for the Solons. Uh, double bonus, he'll be shooting two. This is it, folks. Can't state it enough. That's why you practice your free throws. Just clutch free throw shooting by Montpelier. That one's short. Williams up. Shot doesn't go. Williams again. And there's .1 on the clock. I mean, it's pretty academic. Ryby Williams is going to go to the line. Referees are going to counsel. Solon's van letting the Wildcats van know that it's all over. Foul called on the press, but... Once again, just great performance by both teams. And I can't say enough about the Solon's uh, free throw shooting here these last couple minutes. Just uh, clutch, clutch. <laughs> 
final score are going to be 60-55. Montpelier will bump their record to 12-3. and Hazen will drop to 12-3. And, and uh, looking for uh, get things back going against Thetford on Monday. That's going to do it. From the den here tonight is the Montpelier Solons. The two days, this is why they're defending two-time Division II champions. Come up here and battle back and persevere and hit their free throws and go home winners. It's going to be a nice ride back down Route 14 for them tonight down to Montpelier. Once again, your final score, 60-55. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080. On your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Till next time, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.